Hi all, in the previous video we learned about somatic cell checkpoints, the moments in the life of a cell when systems checking go goes on. We learned that these checkpoints are pretty complex processes that involve many proteins, each encoded by its own gene. We learned about proto-oncogenes, which encode proteins that move a, a cell forward in the cell cycle, and about tumor suppressor genes that slow a cell down. Although we often hear on the news about this cancer gene or that cancer gene, cancers are typically not caused by a single gene. They're polygenic disorders. Multiple genes must be mutated to produce a cell that is reproducing dramatically out of control. And it is genetic mutation that is critical because those are passed down from cell to cell with each round of the cell cycle. Let's see how this works. Imagine a tissue simple cuboidal, stratified squamous, dense regular connective tissue, etc. This is a group of cells that are located in the same place and perform some, some common function. The cells in the tissue are generally spaced out in a very predictable, orderly manner. And they typically go through the cell cycle at a pace such that new cells are produced at the same rate that old cells die off. Thus, the density of cells stays roughly constant over time. In order for that to happen, the balance of expression of proto-oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes has to be just right. In our picture, the white circles represent the cells of a healthy tissue. Over the life of the individual who owns this tissue, those cells replicate at their own characteristic rate. Every time one of the cells replicates, it goes through S phase, when DNA is replicated. And each time DNA is replicated, mutations or typo typographical errors might occur. If those aren't caught and fixed, they become part of the permanent record of the cell. That's what's shown here. The red cell has a mutation. Let's say it's a mutation in a tumor suppressor gene that knocks out its function. This mutant red cell now has a bit more proto-oncogene or gas pedal action than it does tumor suppressor gene or breaks function and the cell starts reproducing a bit faster than the non-mutant cells around it. That faster growth might not be noticeable as a tumor growth yet. Those red cells are reproducing more often than the non-mutant non cells. And that means they have more rounds of DNA replication every year or every five years. And each round of DNA replication is chance for another mutation to occur. If another mutation does occur in a proto-oncogene and it knocks out the, the function, that might not be a huge deal because knocking out a gas pedal might bring the cell back closer to its normal rate of reproduction. But if a proto-oncogene undergoes a gain of function or loss of regulation, or if a second tumor suppressor gene undergoes a loss of function mutation, that double mutant will grow even more out of control. But not only are those double mutants growing faster than even the single mutants, they'll have more rounds of the cell cycle and therefore more S phases, rounds of DNA replication, in any year or five years or whatever. And each of those rounds of DNA replication comes with a chance for another mutation in another cell cycle control gene. And those triple mutants will, will grow even faster and more out of control. And that could lead quickly to a quadruple mutant, and then a quintuple mutant, and on and on at an accelerating pace. That could lead to cancer cells with advanced characteristics. Tumor development, loss of contact inhibition, cells crowding on top of each other. Dedifferentiation, the cells stop acting in the specialized ways those tissues should act. Loss of apoptosis, cells don't die off when they should. Angiogenesis, the development of a blood supply that feeds that growing mass of cells, and metastasis, the ability of cancer cells to move to new places in the body and continue to grow uncontrollably. If this progression happens too rapidly, the cancer may develop to a point where it's too late to treat. Early detection is a good thing. Continual exposure to environmental situations that increase mutation risk, like cigarette smoking or exposure to ultraviolet light, or that increase the rate of cell division, like take, taking performance-enhancing performance drugs like human growth hormone, adds to the probability of mutation. Some of us also inherit mu mutated genes from our parents. 
We'll discuss some aspects of the inheritance of genes in the next set of videos on Chapter 7, Meiosis.